I'm sorry about how we're engaged. I'm trying to. Really great products don't have to cost a fortune. Yeah. 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 What's your Instagram and how many followers? taking the past couple of weeks off not necessarily on purpose or by choice it's kind of hard to do that when your job is a creative one you start to feel this creeping guilt like you're wasting precious time but honestly i kind of felt like i had nothing more to say and when it came to sitting back down at my desk it felt pretty overwhelming kind of like all the expectations i'd ever set for myself were just sitting there waiting to pounce and it's this cycle of getting stuck and unstuck and it happens to everyone as part of the process but it feels like failure at the time. There's this constant pressure to produce and create something new, something better but at the end of the day we are not robots and we're not meant to function like them. Staying connected is something we all know, we know it's important, but when you're busy working away, it is easy to not prioritize it, or at least I've been guilty of this. Especially living in a big city like London, where everyone is constantly moving, constantly hustling. But truthfully, I found that making time to spend with people who inspire me and actually fill up my cup is essential. It's more than just socializing, it's about finding those people who almost remind you why you do what you do in the first place. People who challenge you, they support you and they bring out the best in you. Okay, let's talk about it. I think a big thing I've been struggling with recently has been FOMO uh, and comparison, and that's kind of a deadly combo in summer, but I know I'm not the only one. And let's face it, summer, if you're in the UK right now, you know summer has not been very summery. I've been really guilty of literally the past few months just in a state of like waiting for life to happen waiting for things to get better before i can feel happier to bring it up honestly as a reminder that everyone has their down days even the people you see on social media who are always on holiday and always post them living their best lives and their highlight reel it's about how you cope with it, how you pick yourself back up. And it's important to have coping mechanisms in place. What's been really helping me is talking out with someone and I don't mean like burdening those around me. Sometimes talking to a therapist is what I need. I've spoken about my journey with therapy before on here. I've been very transparent about it. And the service I use is BetterHelp. This is a paid partnership with BetterHelp. Let me be straight. Therapy has helped me focus on actually enjoying the now, recognizing all that is good around me. And like I said, teaching me how to enjoy the journey instead of fixating on what I do not have around me right now in life, what isn't right, like what goals have I not reached yet, especially like coming to that mid-year point. Therapy has helped me better equip myself for when life gets a little bit tricky and that's why I think it's really important to come on here and talk about therapy because there is a whole stigma around it and I fed into that. I used to think like therapy was reserved for those who had been through serious trauma. It was not for anyone 
the likes of me. I truly believe anyone can benefit from therapy. So BetterHelp connects you with a credentialed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful unbiased advice. First up, all you gotta do is go to their website. You can actually use my link, betterhelp.com forward slash Becca Watson. You answer a few questions, it does not take that long and BetterHelp will match you with a professional who has years of experience. What I love and what has always seemed so daunting to me with therapy is having to leave my home and go talk to a stranger and go to their office in person. I don't know why, like that just does not sound very appealing to me. For me to really open up and feel my most comfortable, feel my most safe, I prefer to be at home and I prefer to have those conversations over video chat or you can even message your therapist that's something I love about BetterHelp you can literally do it all from just your phone your computer therapy is such a personal journey and I think BetterHelp have really considered that with their service so after you filled out the questionnaire you will be matched with a therapist within usually 48 hours if you do not click with your therapist which absolutely happens you can switch your therapist at any time at no extra cost so let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist who can support you all from the comfort of your own home, simply visit betterhelp.com forward slash Becca Watson or you can always just pick my channel name Becca Watson in the sign up process. Make sure you do that so that you can enjoy a special discount on your first month. It is always such a pleasure partnering with brands I truly believe in that I absolutely love using myself and so thank you BetterHelp for working with me on this part of the video. You know, adult me kind of gets annoyed at younger me for not realizing how great Edinburgh is as a place and how lucky I was to grow up in Edinburgh. I love this show. something a little scary about starting something new in your mid-twenties and maybe documenting it, being a bit open about it, opening yourself up to criticism and judgment. I find it so funny that I think back to when we're all 16 and we're picking what you do after school. Like, which degree do you go do? Do you go straight into a job? It's almost like you should absolutely know what you want to do with the rest of your life. I think we're quite bad at like, not allowing space for people to kind of venture into other things and so here i am trying something new it's kind of normal to feel like you're going through a bit of an identity crisis in your 20s i feel like a lot of us go through it judging ourselves comparing ourselves <sighs> it's hard and telling ourselves that we're probably not good enough for that thing so coming away from it before we even been tried. I don't want to get to that point where I ask myself, what if? But how do you really get to know you without trying new things? You 
don't need to know what you're gonna do with the rest of your life or how it's all gonna play out. The uncertainty, the not knowing exactly what cards are in store for you, that's exciting. Would you really want to skip ahead if you could? I think a big part of life's richness comes from the journey. We get to try new things, we make mistakes, and we figure out what actually makes us happy. When an idea comes to you, no matter how big or small, write it down, capture it, document it. It's okay to try new things, to get lost. It's okay to try it and try it again because that's what creativity is about. It is all a process and learning to enjoy that process is key.